Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Palmetto Cats. Today we got something special for you. We're at the 2023 Catfish Conference in Louisville, Kentucky. We're here with Tackle Bandit and the Demon Dragon crew. And today we're going to talk to everybody and see how they use demon dragons all across the country and their rivers and lakes. Uh, we hope that we get some great information. I know you're going to enjoy it. Stay tuned. Uh, my name is Bob with Bobcat Outdoors. I started using Demon Dragons about a year ago when I was uh, invited to, to participate in, uh, in basically uh, using these Demon Dragons. And uh, I use them in a couple different ways. Um, my primary way I use them is bumping. And uh, you know, with a bumping rig, I, I like the, uh, at first I started out using a small 3.0 Demon Dragons and then uh, I figured out that I like big baits and I like big fish, so I could actually, when when they come out with the three point or the brute demon dragons, I started using them, and pretty much now I exclusively use the brutes for bumping. And plus, I found out too when I was when I started bumping with the smaller 3.0 uh, dragons, I would have to um, I'd have to use a lighter weight uh, with the 3.0s, but then. When you're bumping, you get sensitivity from the uh, from the sinker. You get a, good, a better sinker feel with a little bit heavier weight. Let's say I'm bumping in, you know, current, and I'm using a, a two ounce. Uh, I like to use a, a two ounce bank sinker for bumping, and then you know, you're you're kind of dependent on the the weight hitting the bottom for your feel. But with when I went to the uh, when I went to the brutes, I was able to use go up to say a three three ounce bank sinker and with a three ounce bank sinker you you get a better feel you get a better bottom feel you get a better response from it so you, you feel that thump and that's in bumping it's all about that thump feeling that sinker hit so so by using a bigger demon dragon i was actually able to go up to a, a heavier weight and uh, pretty much i've exclusively used the the brutes since i started to, since they come out for bumping uh, even in even in low current, I can I can still use the brutes and adjust my weight accordingly. When I'm dragging weights, baits, which I do sometimes, I actually like to use. Uh, and I showed Jeremy this when he went out with me. I started using a, uh, a zip tie on my demon dragon, and this way, using a zip tie, I'm running through the I'm running my leader through the eye of the hook, and then across the body of the demon dragon, and out the other side. And then when with doing that, I can actually adjust where that, how much my leader comes out according to how close I want the brute to the, uh, to the hook. So I just thought that was a neat thing. Some guys will, will tape theirs up, and, but I like to use a, just a simple zip tie. I fished the Tennessee River near Chattanooga, fished Lake Chickamauga and primarily Nickajack Lake below Chickamauga Dam. A uh, hard, rocky bottom. Uh, very seldom do I fish uh, muddy bottoms, but uh, Demon Dragons work in all conditions. Um, I wanted to get out there with Bob and have him explain why he uses a zip tie. It's something really unique. We've been dealing with Demon Dragons for about four years now, and it's something I've heard a lot of different ways of people rigging them up between all their bumping and dragging different ways, but I've never heard of anybody using a zip tie, and I think that that's something that a lot of people just don't understand is there's not a standard way to do or use a Demon Dragon. Everybody kind of has their own unique take on it, so it was a really cool way to see something new. Hey, uh, I'm Cody with 3 Plus 1 Outdoors. I started using Demon Dragons here a while ago. Uh, when we first got, got into using Demon Dragons, we actually tested them out. We went out, everything on the left side of the boat had Demon Dragons on it. Everything on the right side of the boat had peg floats and rattles. Uh, we were thinking that the bite ratio was gonna be pretty sim uh, similar. We, we noticed real quick that 95% of our bites was coming on the Demon Dragons. Uh, that was a huge selling point to me and that's all I've used ever since. Big fan of the 3.0, but even bigger fan of the Brute. Uh, you can run small baits on the Brute, but you can run up to a 12 inch whole skipjack on the Brute also. I think the biggest thing for us is we fish a muddy uh, water situation and your scent doesn't travel as far in that muddy stained water. Uh, so having the additional sound to be able to draw those fish in make a real difference for us. And uh, that's my favorite thing about the Demon Dragons. Hello, and I'm Larry from 3 Plus 1 Outdoors. And uh, 
One of the things we've done also is uh, we've tied our Demon Dragons, tied our hook, uh, and tied the leader to the front of them. Uh, we've ran the uh, leader line through the eyes. And uh, one of the best ways we found to use them is just to put the uh, line through one eye and then we tape it on the end to hold it in place. And then if uh, we get to a situation where we want to suspend drag or suspend drift or something, we just take the tape loose, move the demon drag it up and retape it. But another thing you can do, just like Bobcat showed you, he used the zip ties, is uh, get an old ring and slip on there. And then you can just move it as you want to. But uh, I definitely believe the Demon Dragons have made a big difference in our success of catching fish. So we fish Barron River Lake in Scottsville, Kentucky. It's a 10,000 acre uh, flood water reservoir. They uh, draw it down 27 foot in the winter, gets down to 5,000 surface acres. So we deal with quite a few different fishing conditions throughout the year. It tends to stay pretty stained year round, but it, it's a great fishery and uh, in Southern Kentucky and we love being there. What's up guys, my name's Chris with Elgato Azul TV. I've been using the Demon Dragons going on close to eight years. We started using them when Scott Manning was making them in his kitchen, signing the bottoms. Back in Texas, we used to use a spook. We'd cut the hooks off. When I started seeing, you know, another guide buddy I'd fish with said, well, Scott's making them now, so why don't you just buy them? So we started buying them. I've been using them ever since. We use both versions. We use the 3.0 for mo mostly baits that are half our hand size and smaller. And we use the, the uh, brutes for big baits that are about the size of our hand or maybe a little bit bigger. So we stinger hook those rigs. It's very similar to what these guys are running. We use 80 pound mono. Uh, we run it through both eyes. We loop it through the back eye so we can move the demon dragon up and down the leader depending on how deep we want to run it. If it's high pressure, no wind type day. We're late guys, so high pressure, no wind. We shorten the leader, we put our baits real close to the bottom, and uh, that, that'll that tend to catch you a lot more fish that are laying in the mud. Bigger wind days, fish are turned on pre-front, we lengthen the leader and run them a little higher, so fish are more aggressive, they can go get it. We love these demon dragons, they work. We fish out of North Texas, we fish what's the, called the, the Catfish Triangle of Texas, it's Lake Tawakany. Uh, Lake Louisville up to Lake Texoma. We also fish Levon and, and a few other lakes, but we fish mainly the, our, those are our big fish lakes, so we try to stick close to those. I'm Richard from JR Fishing. And I'm Jamie from JR Fishing. Uh, we started using Demon Dragons about a year ago. Uh, one of the biggest factors in using them was the difference between them and other things where we were having some issues hitting rocks a lot and getting stuck up. The Demon Dragons, being a little harder, wanted to come up out of that rock and we weren't losing as many. Plus the flip side of having the significantly loud rattles really increased what our productivity looked like versus an inline rattle. So having that slim all-in-one package really helped out. And that's whether we're dragging or on anchor. You know, dragging, we'll use a three-way rig. And we actually go through and tie our demon dragons on both ends and use a fixed position where a lot of guys want to be adjustable. A lot of the time we pre-tie our rigs, whether we're tying brutes, brutes are a little bit more difficult to fit in our smaller packaging, uh, but we like to pre-tie a lot of our leaders. Um, so if we're on the boat and we're fishing at night, it's super easy for us to pull out a pre-tied leader and tie back on and get back out there. But when we anchor fish, you know, we use just a little barrel swivel. And then for my bigger baits, I like to run the brutes because um, it has the ability to lift that, uh, that bait up off the bottom. Um, and it has the substantially <laughs> louder uh, rattle in it. With the fixed position, I feel that, you know, we really put a lot of trust and confidence in our knots. So if something happens while we're dragging or we get hung up when we're anchor fishing, um, we don't lose as much product. I mean, if it gets snagged, it'll, you know, it'll break at one of the ends and we recover a lot of it. I like the fact that, you know, we just, if we're ever in a pinch, we can pull one out that's pre-tied and tie back on and get back out there, especially tying them at night. With the Nocturnal Nation Demon Dragons, both the Brute and the 
their bellies glow. So that does help when we have to tie them back on. But I, I prefer the brutes myself. We fish in Lake Hartwell, so it's 56,000 acres of water with over 900 miles of shoreline with an average depth of 60 feet and a majority of what we drag in is flooded timber. So we do have a high loss ratio with very, very clear water. Fish colors and things give more of a natural bait presentation. And that's been a huge key factor in our success. Being able to use the Demon Dragons in so many different applications limits how much tackle we do have to keep on the boat. It does. and. With the fact that we don't have a current, we fish a lot of live baits, we do fish cut baits. So, I mean, it just depends on the style of fishing in which we choose to implement for the day. And most days we do run both styles. We'll drag during the day till sunset, and then we'll drag for a little bit in the dark, and then some days we'll just anchor up right after. I'm Big Mike for Fish with Big Mike. I fish the Tennessee River just outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm primarily a bank fisherman, which I am 190% a bank fisherman. I do get on a boat, but I love fishing the dams. Uh, I was invited to join the Demon Dragon team last year. I just, I love the brutes. The brutes are awesome for the way I fish at the dam. I will throw one pound, two pound, three pound skipjack all whole, and the brute just is the loudest rattle on the market. There's nothing better as far as the rattle. Um, it will float a one, it might not float it perfectly, but in the strong current with the buoyancy that the, the bait itself has and the demon dragon added on top of it, it will it will pull a one to two pound bait up into the bike call, especially in strong current at the dam. Um, I mean, the bait fish are running on top or in the middle current, so that's where you want your bait a lot of times when you're fishing that real fast current at the dam. It's just, it, it's an awesome, awesome tool in our fishing. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. They're the best on the market, in my honest opinion. I mean, there's the brutes the loudest, even the smaller rattles like these right here. I mean, they're super, super loud. I mean, you, just, you can't beat it. I mean, it's just, if I'm fishing at the dam with the bigger baits, I'll tie a double hook rig with 10, 12, 14 aught circle hooks. Depends on the size of the bait. Um, I, I tie all mine on with a, just a, what is it, a improved clinch knot on each end. I use 80 pound leaders, double hook rigs, which is a single hook rig. Tie a 10, 12 aught hook, probably be about right around in here. And yeah, improved clinch, improved clinch with 80 pound leader line. Some baits I use the Demon Dragons, some baits I don't use the Demon Dragons at all. I mean, just, you know, just situation pretty much dictates on how I fish it. If you want something to attract a bait, get you a Demon Dragon. Demon Dragons are awesome. Hey there, everybody. I'm uh, Jason Hamilton. Um, I mainly fish uh, Missouri River. Been fishing uh, catfish tournaments for the last three years. Uh, mainly the Twisted Cat Trail. As far as the Demon Dragon goes, uh, they're an absolute game changer. I first tied one on my line two years ago, and it's completely changed the way I fish. When I first started out, I just used a plain rig, um, something sim very similar to this. Um, I always go with four finger depth in between the Demon Dragon and the hook. You get further out, up here so if the demon dragon is up here and you're fishing in a situation with less current that bait is essentially going to be down here on the bottom and it's not going to come up now if you're fishing missouri river which i typically do more current you know you can actually get that demon dragon up and away from the bait because the current's going to you know the more current it's going to put it up further in the, in the water column i mainly uh, i'm on the rope a lot um at night and then as far as bumping goes, um, I've really, really, really gotten into using the Brute for bumping. And I have gotten into making a couple tweaks um, while using the Brute. And it's, if I'm using that particular rig compared to a normal bumping rig, that rig is catching probably five fish to maybe three fish of the other type. Um, it's just, it, it's a game changer. When I go down to Alabama, I'm fishing flatheads um, with the Brute, 
Up on that Missouri River, I mainly focus on blues. You gotta tie one on. Um, I was not a game, I, I was not a believer in rattles at all um, for the longest time. And I had a buddy of mine that said, hey, tie one of these on, just give it a shot. And I gave it a shot and I tell you that there's not a day that I'm on the water that there is not a brute and a regular sized demon dragon in the water. They are two rigs that are 100% on my lines all the time when I'm in the water. Hey everyone, uh, you know me, Pop Out of Cats, Kevin. I fish uh, primarily Santee Cooper, uh, Lake Moultrie, uh, sometimes Lake Marion, and uh, the Cooper River is my favorite. And on the Cooper River uh, is where I found my most success with demon dragons. And uh, my favorite one is this red demon dragon here. This is the catfishing hardcore one. They don't have a brute for this one, so this is the 3.0. But for some reason, man, the fish love this demon dragon. And I jokingly say that it's because it goes fast. Looks <laughs> like it goes fast. So uh, most of the time, I, I'm, I'm still experimenting with a lot of things. But for the longest time, I've run my leader line, 80 pound leader line, through all three of the eyes on the 3.0. And uh, that allows me to slide it up if I want to suspend. And, or, or run it down. I can basically move it wherever I want. It becomes more versatile. Uh, when I'm in the lake and I'm dragging baits, uh, let's say that I'm dragging like this and I get hung up a lot, I'll actually drag, take this uh, demon dragon and slide it all the way down to that bead. Just like that. And a lot of people say, like Larry just said, you know, he's afraid it's going to grab it and the hook's going to come out. I'm not sure if that's happened to me or not, but I've had very good hookups with it grabbing the demon dragon, especially a big catfish. And I mean, I can't even bring my hand off of there without getting hooked. So, you know, it's personal preference, but as far as demon dragons are concerned, if you've never used one, uh, you gotta try it out. You know, I, I wouldn't use anything other than a demon dragon. They just look better than anything else. They're not gonna leak on you. Um, they got a great design. People have worked for years to perfect these. Um, and they're loud as crap. Like this. The brute, I often say it sounds like a baby rattle. <laughs> uh, and then you can't go wrong with a 3.0. They also have a 4.0 with a light in it. As far as my favorite, I like the, the Catfishing Hardcore. That's my favorite one. My favorite Demon Dragon is the Hooker Terminal Tackle. I use uh, two Demon Dragons, and mainly I use, I use the High Fin Blue and I use the Monty's Madness. Thanks, Jeremy, for designing this one. We've caught eight records in the last six months on these. Uh, my sons, mostly all my sons, but all come off of these, so they work. Uh, my favorite color of the Demon Dragon is the Borderline, but I actually like any of the brighter colors, uh, but I have honestly caught fish on every one I've tried. My favorite color of Demon Dragon is the Nocturnal Nation. Uh, it's got the really shiny underside, really natural color. I think it puts off a great presentation in the water. I prefer a more natural looking demon dragon that looks more similar to the bait fish in the area. Like this one kind of mimics a crappie. So, uh, you know, we catch a lot of, a lot of fish on, on crappie. So I like, I like this. And then sometimes, you know, with the, I think the dot, you know, kind of resembles a shed pattern. So like, I like to stay towards it. Now, sometimes I use the pink and white in muddy water conditions or stained water just for the visibility factor but this is one of my favorites right here it is the uh, backwoods catfishing edition we prefer the nocturnal nation demon dragons um, i like that the under belly glows it's the creek chub color uh, so it's got that natural bait presentation you know we even use it in the three point it's one of the key factors to us with high clarity in the water is in the shallower depths we like that brighter shinier side but as you get into the darker water you still have that dark top so you know you have good visibilities we like the nocturnal nations my favorite is the blackout tackle just because it's purple purple is my favorite color but i've caught fish on every single color there is in the demon dragon arsenal 
guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh if you want to get demon dragons uh, all of us have codes i'll put everybody's link in the description of this video with their demon dragon code you go to demondragons.com at checkout you put in their code uh whoever was your favorite thanks to jeremy and nate for setting this up and uh thanks for everybody who participated appreciate you guys all right y'all till next time happy fishing